Now, it's very um, fashionable in New Age circles to find solace in one interpretation of quantum mechanics, which is usually described as the Copenhagen interpretation, which privileges this measurement moment of, of the, the, the role of consciousness in determining the nature of reality. And Einstein famously said, you know, I, 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 do you really think that the moon doesn't exist unless I'm looking at it as a way of disparaging this, this uh, view? My sense from talking to physicists of late is that, that interpretations of QM that privilege the role of consciousness are less and less fashionable to the point of being more or less retired now. Is that, is that actually where it, where it is? And, and do you, what do you think about consciousness as, as a part of this puzzle? Well, uh, it, it's a very hard question because you can't ever get out of your head, right? I mean, if you imagine a measurement being undertaken not by a conscious being, but by a computer or some mechanical device, and you'd say, well, there's no conscious quality involved, and therefore consciousness can't play a role in the process, you still need to go over and look at the device to see whether it's accomplished what you set it out to do. So it's very hard to ever get outside of the framework in which a conscious being is brought in at some point in the quantum mechanical story. And that's what makes it hard to excise it fully. However, having said that, it, there's no reason that we can possibly see where consciousness plays a fundamental role in the quantum unfolding, right? I mean, you write down the basic equations and they apply to individual particles and whether those individual particles are grouped together in some amorphous mass or into this nicely organized structure that allows some kind of internal processing to take place, it doesn't seem to matter to the equations. That's an add-on and therefore it doesn't seem that consciousness is, is vital to the story. So, um, I don't think so. I don't think consciousness is essential. And I would just underscore one point. We talk about interpretations of quantum mechanics, as if quantum mechanics exists, and we're just sort of sitting back trying to say, what do we make of it? That's not the situation. Yeah. These so-called different interpretations are attempting to resolve this unsolved problem of quantum measurement. And that's a real issue. And therefore, it can well be the case that these aren't just different interpretations, they're different theories. And if we understand them well enough, and we finally have a solution to the measurement problem, we might find that it's not that we were struggling with interpretations, we were struggling with actually giving birth to the full theory itself. Mm. And I suspect that that's where things will ultimately turn out.